about certain people who thought I was my half-sister. I left them people out of it pretty much because people were thinking I was my half-sister, so I left those people out of the category. And that's why I left people out of it once they realized that it wasn't my doing. So I left them people out of the category, out of it completely. Like I said, I forgive you, but that does not mean I'm going to forget what you've done to me. Because you thought I was my half-sister when it wasn't me. Like I said, I forgive, but I don't forget. And you people are very lucky I'm level-headed to understand that. To leave you people out of it. And I know who I'm directing towards. That's been physically attacking me. Physically doing stuff towards me. Now I'm not going to leave those people out who has attempted, committed stuff on me. I'm not going to leave them people out. People who are working in groups. That's been constantly doing stuff. There's a difference. For the people who blamed me for stuff because of my half-sister, they didn't know no better. They're out of the category. But some of these people who are constantly showing their butts off constantly showing off that they're going to physically harm me, do something towards me, commit or attempt on me, they're not off the hook. I want to make that very clear at the end of the day. And I believe that's fair judgment, I believe. Because... Even though I know it's it's not right that people were coming after me because of my half-sister made a lot of people mad. It's not right at the end of the day. But you should be very thankful I'm level-headed. That's why I forgive, but I don't forget It's kind of like a situation, God forgive them for they not know what they do type of situation. So them people should be thankful they're off the hook. And my half sister has done a lot of things down here to make (laughs) to make people (laughs) mad at me. (coughs) The reasons why I'm letting these people off the hook. Of people thinking I was my half-sister. is because over the years. They woken up. And understood their mistakes. Some of them are actually are truly sorry. That they should have never done it. And that's why they're off the hook on that part. But the other parts. No. They will never be off the hook. Whatsoever. So I'm saying, though, some of you should be thankful. And some people are going to really regret it. That when it stopped, kept continuing stuff. That's on them. That's what they wanted. That's what they put out there. You want to be famous, I'll make you famous. And it seems like it's making most of you mad out there. I'm making you famous. You wanted your name in the light. You want to get caught up? I'll make you famous. And now that you are being famous, you're not liking it. You're getting mad. You're getting frustrated. You're talking crap. You're talking outside of your neck. But what's the matter? You wanted to be famous for what you've done to me. You wanted to be famous for helping very bad things out here to happen towards me. 
You want to be famous for helping sex traffickers. You wanted to be famous for helping certain people to attack me. You wanted to be famous for being gang stalkers, predators, community murder. You wanted to be famous. So I don't understand why you people are flipping out and tripping for. That's what you wanted. You wanted the attention, but now you're not liking the attention that you're getting back. Because it's a very negative side effect. It's a cause and effect. It's called whatever you do, it causes a domino effect. All you people thought you were cute and funny. And now you're realizing what you've done has backfired. You wanted to be famous. Now you're not liking it. You're not liking how people are talking to you. You're not liking how people are probably are threatening you. You're probably not liking how people are speaking upon your personality. Your mask is ripped off. That you people thought you could keep it up and up and up. And now it's resurfacing back upon these people. That's what's actually making them mad. That's why they're threatening to put people in jail. Because they know they can end up in jail. It's like a reverse psychology. It's like a flying monkey. It's like gaslighting reverse psychology. Because they know what they've done. They can actually end up in jail. They can end up with federal charges. At the end of the day, they thought what they were doing was not criminal. Now they're realizing what they did do was organization and RICO acts is caught with all these different people. Now they want to bitch, complain, trying to threaten to throw people in jail. But cheerfully and honestly, why they keep threatening that is because they know their time's up. They know they're about to get locked up themselves. They just don't know when. They don't know when they're about to get a warrant out for themselves. They don't know when it's going to happen to them. That's why anybody who starts threatening they're going to try to put people in jail is because they know they're about to get locked up. They are afraid they're going to have to do the time. You do the crime, you have to do the time. That's what truthfully that is. That's like a fear. That's like a phobia. Like I said, this is like a domino effect. What these people have done for years, straight 30 years, and it can be proven and backed up. That's when these people want to start threatening people where they really shouldn't be threatening these people. They really shouldn't be attacking others. Because of their own actions. If they end up in jail, it's because of their own actions. Everything is resurfacing back up. That they didn't want to get caught up in. But they stupidly got caught up in it. Because they thought they could keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Now, they're threatening people. They're harassing people. Because of what they are afraid of. And I believe why there are certain people threatening innocent people that should not be going on is because this person in particular knows they're afraid. They know they can get locked up from everything I've talked about, all the proof and evidence. They have a phobia of going to jail themselves, and they know they can. Because they thought they were cute getting involved, getting others involved in situations that they had no clue nothing about, didn't want to stay out of people's businesses. You cannot be throwing innocent people in jail. You cannot constantly threaten to put people in jail over because of your stupidity of actions. It's a ripple effect. It's a cause and effect. These people kept it up, kept it up, kept it up. And now everything is resurfacing and now the heat is on them all who would not stop, who kept it up. You put yourselves in the middle of whatever you're feeling, you're projecting of how you feel of you projecting. What I mean by projecting is that. 
you're threatening people that you're going to threaten to put people in jail. That's a projection of how you feel that you should end up with charges, that you should end up in jail because that's what you're afraid of. You're afraid of getting locked up because of your wrongdoings of you helping out these people and not staying out of people's businesses that you thought you knew it all, but you didn't. It's a fearful thing that you feel. You are scared that you're getting caught up. You are in fear because others are going to bring you down. That's all it is. You better quit going after innocent people for your actions. This is my proof and truth evidence. Now all these people are starting to threaten people who don't deserve it. It's your actions. You got involved. You got in my business. I told you to stay out of it. And I think it's really funny. That's how you feel. You're afraid you might get charges. You're afraid you might end up in jail. That's what you are projecting. It's something that you feel on the inside that's resurfacing back up that whatever you're doing to me it was going to resurface that's where the anxiety rised because you kept getting away with it kept getting away with it and now seems like you're not getting away with nothing you better quit threatening people out here for some of your actions this has nothing to do with others you're mad at me. That don't mean you can come out here and threaten innocent people's lives over because of your stupidity and all the proof and evidence I have against all of you. And then that's also... <laughs> that's also proof and evidence that you're attacking people for no reason. You're mad at me. You're not going to take it out on nobody else no more. You're going to quit threatening other people. If you're mad at me, get mad at me. That's because you know you're exposed. You know what I talked about. You know what I shared. Evidence-wise, you're scared on the inside. You know for a fact. That's, that's actually what narcs will do. These flying monkeys... Are scared and did not take you very seriously. So this is this is actually what they do. All the evidence, all the proof of what I've spoken upon. Nobody wanted to stay out of it. They they thought they were macho. They thought they were they were a big bad wolf. Now they're finding out with all the serious scenarios. They're in fear. They're scared. They're petrified. That they're about to go to jail. And do not ever threaten people for something of my evidence and proof that I'm exposing. Because it was time for you people to be exposed. And that's also going to be put here too. As another testimony is that you're not going to hurt innocent people for what I'm talking about. You're going to leave people out of it. It is your consequences. Deal with your actions. You're going to quit threatening innocent people. It has nothing to do with this. This has to do with me and all these people who has came at me, tried to attempt, tried to commit. You got involved. You stupidly got involved. You're cheerfully angry at me. Don't you dare take it out on innocent people who has nothing to do with this. There are some people who cheerfully don't know. You're going to leave them out of it. You're pissed off at me. How about you man up and woman up. And deal with it. And you should have stayed out of it. You're not going to take it out. On innocent people. Of what you did with your actions. That's also a testimony right there too. I'm so used to these attackers. Getting mad at me. And they go out here. And try to attack innocent people. You're done. You're you're done. You're going to stop that crap right there. I'm going to stop you in your tracks.
You're going to quit threatening people who don't deserve it. You're cheerfully angry, mad at me because I exposed the fuck out of all of yous for what you did. So what's the matter? You can't, you can't take it up with me? You're done taking it out on innocent people out here. You deal with your actions. You handle it. Stop projecting. Stop threatening people who don't deserve it. Because you're showing that pattern right there. I'm tired of these attackers of all the people I've confronted. And then everybody else suffers. You're done. You're going to quit. And I really hope people snaps back on you. Because people don't know what's f fully what I was doing. With all this proof and evidence. You're hurting innocent people. You're going after people for no reason. Who you really should be coming at is me. But you're too much of a coward lead to do it because you're afraid I'm going to make more evidence and documents about it. That's why you're not coming after me. You're cheerfully mad at me, but you're taking it out on everybody else. You better quit doing that. You're going to stop threatening people and you're going to stop trying to get people locked up. Who's not doing nothing wrong to you? You're just mad at me. You're mad out of your mind. You're terrified. You're scared. You're petrified. Because I've called you out on everything you've done, all the involvement, all these names. You're tripping out. You can't handle it. You all put yourselves in the middle of it. And all those names are affiliations, associations, accomplices. And you thought all this was a game and a joke playing on my life. You're going to quit going after innocent people. Who you really should be coming at is me. Nobody else. You got a problem with me. But you're trying to take it out on innocent people. And I really hope people start snapping back at you. I really hope people do call the police on you. Because you're hurting innocent people. You're mad at me. You're not mad at anybody else. You're trying to take it out on others. Because you're angry at me. You're scared. You're petrified. You're scared of getting locked up. Because everything I've proven, all my evidence of what you've done towards me, that I got the evidence to get something done, and it's freaking you out. You do not have the right to come out here and harass others. You don't have a right to do that. You will leave innocent people alone. You're going to stop threatening people who don't deserve it. Just because you're scared out of your mind. You're petrified out of your mind. You put yourself in the middle of it. Everybody else put themselves in the middle of it. And all these names put themselves in the middle of it. So it's scaring you. You're petrified. You're scared of getting locked up. You're not going to put an innocent in jail that's not even doing anything to you. You're the one going around threatening people because you're mad at me. And I'm going to make that as a statement, too. You got a problem, you take it up with me. Because that's who you've really got an issue with is towards me. You're going to leave others alone. You're going to quit threatening people because if you keep doing it, I really hope these people... Reports you for harassing them for no reason and that you're trying to false informant to get others locked up. I really hope people start calling the police on you because you won't quit messing with others who you really got a problem with is with me. And you can't and you can't really like honestly you're afraid to take it up with me. Because you know you're caught. You know what you did was wrong. You know you've attempted and committed. You know you community mom me. You know you're a flying monkey. You know you've done abuse by proxy. You know you've gang shocked me. You know you've helped predators. And you know you helped sex traffickers towards me. To hurt me with these other people. That's what you got problem with. You can't handle it. That's why. That's what happens when you think you always got to get in the middle of stuff. This is what happens. Eventually, these people freaks out themselves. That's why others, you see me talking about this, they do not get involved. 
They hear me out, but they're not dumb enough to get involved because they know the consequences of what can happen. Your conscience is eating at you of what you did to me was not right. And it's showing severely <laughs> showing in a very funny way. Your conscience is eating at you. You can't handle all the proof and the evidence that I know what you're doing. You're done hurting innocent people who don't deserve it. You got an issue with me. You have the real issue and problem with me. But there is why you're not saying anything. Why you're not trying it. Because you know I'm going to get it. I'm going to know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to pull. It's what it truthfully is. Everything <coughs> proof and evidence wise. You're afraid you might get locked up for what you've been doing to me. It's what it is. You're not fearful of anybody else. You're taking it out on everybody else. And these people ain't going to know why. Why you're trying to start on people is because you're mad because you got exposed with all these people. And I was not kidding and I was not joking around. You're done playing on my life and you're done playing with innocent lives out here. And you're constantly repeating it. And I am not going to sit here and allow you to mess with innocent people who has nothing to do with it. You got an issue with me. You're going to leave people out of it at the end of the day. You start doing your dumb shit. I really hope people start snapping on you or at least report you. Because you truthfully got an issue with me. Now that I've called you out so badly with evidence I got against you and everybody else you've helped, now you won't dare to say anything to me. You know what I mean? That's why you're threatening. That's why you're going after others for no reason. That's cowardly. That's a very weak. A failure of thinking. A failure to mind. Harmful stimula. You're done taking it out and threatening innocent people for something they truthfully don't know about. You're done taking it out on people who don't deserve it. You're mad. You're pissed off. Then you deal with it and you handle it. If you think... That you can put innocence in jail. You're fucked up for that. People are not doing nothing wrong to you. Nobody's messing with you. But you like to mess with people. And it shows. And that's what makes you mad. Because your mask is ripped off. I ripped the mask off every one of you. I've ripped it off. So has others. Everybody knows the real you. That's what makes you mad. That's what I'm saying, though. You're going to quit going after people. You're going to quit going after innocent people just because you're angry at me. And I will get this out to let the public know that if these people start attacking people, report them to the police. Report them every time because they're angry at me because of what they've done to me. I'm not going to stand no more of your behaviors of hurting people, going after people for something they didn't even do to you. But you're angry at me. You got it out for me. And it shows and it proves that people have it out for me. You're just scared and petrified and scared that I called you out very badly. And you're tripping. You're flipping out. Maybe others may have snapped on you because of what you got them in the middle of too. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe there's finally people waking up and finally snapping on you and seeing that you are the problem. It's no one else. It's you. That's the real problem. And I'm not kidding you. If these people that I've called out and they start attacking you, I'm not kidding you. 
Call the police and make a report on it. Report these people. Because I'm not about to have innocent people get hurt, harassed, or stalked, or attacked. Because these people are mad and angry and have it out for me. You're done with your behaviors. It's your actions, your behaviors. You stupidly got involved. You are now famous and you can't handle the spotlight on you. You can't. You can't handle it. All that time, you really thought you were a big bad wolf. Now come to find out, you're just one of the little piggies running from the wolves and the pit bulls and the Wottweilers. You should have stayed on the porch. That's what I hate about this. That these people, and I've noticed this too, when I call someone out on a very bad level, I've noticed innocent people gets hurt. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. If any of these people I've called out starts to attacking you, make a police report constantly if you have to. Because this is not right. That they are threatening people over because of her own projections. This is what she wanted. You put it out in the universe. You wanted to be famous. You wanted to be known as a gang stalker. Organization, Rico, a predator, sex trafficker, community mobbing, community murder, street theater. This is all what you wanted to be known for. You wanted all this out to the light. Now you can't handle it. Flying monkey, abuse by proxy, abuse in general. Now you can't handle it. You're being a bitch about it. What's the matter? You thought everything you did was so cute and he he he. No, you're tripping out. That's why you stay out of people's businesses. I'm not kidding you. If anybody ever gets threatened by these people and tries to threaten to put you in jail, report these people. I do not care how you got to report it. Report it to the police department. That these people are angry and they're trying to hurt innocent people out here just because they're mad at me. What's the matter? Ever since I called you out on some very nasty things of what you've done, what's the matter? You can't take it up with me now? Oh, because you know if you come at me, I'm going to keep a documentary. That doesn't all mean you can come out here and hurt innocent people. It's what it is. It's cowardly behavior. It's flying monkeys. Also at that too. Running in their mouths. And that has always been a projection on these people. These people always wants to pull <coughs> community mobbing, always mobbing people. And that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. That is technically trying to ruin someone's life when her and all these people, you've ruined your own lives by coming at me. You've ruined your own lives by all the evidence I got against all of yous. You've ruined yourselves. You ruined your own reputation. You did it all by yourselves. You you know that Medea movie, uh, I Could Do Bad All By Myself? That's pretty much them. They did it all by themselves. Nobody told them to get involved. They freely got involved because they're evil people. They were monitoring spirits. They thought they were cute and get involved. And now they're realizing this is the real dealio. That's all I'm going to say, though. If you have any of these people I put down names of, harasses you, or tries to attack you, report these people to the police because they're cheerfully mad at me. They have it out for me. But they won't have the guts to take it up with me. Because they know, and they're projecting stuff. So, like, this is the one thing that there's a woman out there who I confronted <clears throat> on one of that list. She's going around threatening innocent people who's not doing anything. 
That's a projection. It's because she's afraid she's going to get locked up. She's afraid everybody is on their trails. They're not hidden. People see for who they are. Everybody sees what they're doing. And that's what they're freaking out about. It happens like this every time. When everybody thinks that they're so macho and thinking they're doing the right thing, they should have stayed out of it because they did not know the backstories. They didn't know the full story of anybody's life. Now that I have spoken upon certain things and most of the evidence and the proof and remembering what people have done to me, these people are tripping balls right now. These people are freaking out. Like I said, any of these people attacks you, report them to the police department. Report them all. If they ever start on you or are threatening you for no reason. Because they do not have the right to come out here and harass you like that. Over because of me calling them out. And I've also seen that as a pattern too. Where I've called out certain people before and innocent people were getting threatened for no reason. It's because these people are mad because they don't want to deal with me. It's because they don't know how to handle what they've done to themselves. Their actions of a cause and effect it's called karma. This is what you asked for. You wanted to be known out in the light. You wanted the spotlight on you. All these people for straight 30 years... Now the spotlight's on them. Now they're all freaking out. These demons probably don't like the light. They don't. These demons, every time the light's on them, they want to run and scatter. Because the light scares them. These demons are terrified of light. They're scared of it. They're scared of exposure. They're scared of getting caught. They are scared of... Because they know the consequences of their actions is resurfacing. It's coming back on them, whether they like it or not. And others are starting to realize what they're doing. And like I said, there could be a possibility. Maybe there's people who may have said things to these people that others just don't care. There might be people who actually got very mean and hateful towards these people. They may have said something to these people and that's why they're flipping out. You know, there there's a time, a point, where these bullies do get what comes back to them. You reap what you sow. And all these people thought for straight 30 years, all this would never come back on them. They thought they were sneaky. They thought they were going to keep getting away with it. Not now. Because... Now that all the evidence proof is out, now they're freaking out. It's like, what's the matter? Whatever you did, you really thought you were something out here. You thought you were a big shot and hot shot. Now you're realizing you ain't shit. That's why you leave people alone. That's why you don't mess with certain people. Or especially innocent people. And I've noticed that out here. I've actually talked about this before. Where I've told people to leave people out of it. Because eventually, like, every time I call these people out, they always like to go after people for no reason. And it's like, don't you take it out on them. Don't you dare take it out on nobody else. It was your actions. You got involved. You want to have a part in it. Don't you dare flip out on nobody else. You wanted to get involved. You wanted to play games. You wanted to be famous. You got in the middle of it. And you didn't realize how serious my evidence and proof was against all these people. Now you're tripping out, flipping out. Because your mindset. And I haven't even talked about this. In a narcissistic video. Of understanding a professional narcissistic. The anxiety is rising. That everything that person have done to me. They're afraid their stuff is going to resurface 
back up. And that's exactly what's playing out. Pretty much understanding a professional narcissist, her personality, <clears throat> which I really think I should post that eventually, of her personality, how she thinks, like pretty much her mind, she doesn't, she doesn't communicate properly. There's no thinking of the brain, no common sense. She can't really speak properly out here. And I've even looked it up where it even said somewhere in there that she uses a tactic, a defensive mechanism, just to hurt people, to lie, to fib, to mislead, because she doesn't want to take self-accountability. You know how many times I have taken accountability for all these people's fucked up behaviors because I'm standing my ground. I have taken a lot of responsibility for something that these people have attacked me and I've always paid the consequences for standing my ground. I've always been attacked <clears throat> and almost killed standing my ground and I proved what I was talking about. It's evidence. It's backed up. Now, this is why these type of people wants to act up is because their anxiety is rising. They're scared. They're freaked out because they didn't think you had all this evidence. And then when they see the evidence themselves, their anxiety rises. This is where they cannot relax. Like, this is literally messing with their something in the brain it messes with these people. So their conscience is hitting them and knowing what they did was wrong. And they know they're about to get locked up. Or they got a feeling they might get locked up. It's something in their minds, in their brain somewhere. Something's hitting them. Their conscience is catching up to them. Their conscience is driving them nuts. Of... Because they had to see it for themselves. Because these people yeah. don't believe nothing until they see it for themselves. And then once they started seeing the proof and the evidence of everything that's been going on, it hits this person's brain like now they're scared. They're afraid they're going to get locked up because their conscience is eating at them slowly at a time. Because they know they should have never had a part in it. They know they've done people wrong. And they know it's catching up. That's what happens. So when this person started to see the real Dilio, that's when this person starts to, as a, like I said, a defensive mechanism. This person likes to have a harmful stimuli. Where she likes to go out there and tries to harm others. And she she thinks it's okay to do this. And it's not okay. It's not. It's pretty much like a mental illness out there. That it's her personality, not mine. I want to make that clear. I've done a three video about one of their personalities. It's pretty much like a mental illness. Where she thinks... By lying on people, false informationing on people, that she thinks her actions are okay. When it's truthfully not. Those have consequences later on down the road. She thinks she can lie, manipulate, not communicate properly. Her mind is a failure to the thinking. No thinking at all. Doesn't know how to communicate. The only thing she knows how to do... Now, I'm going to say this, that her defense mechanism is to cause harm because that's her defense mechanism. Meaning, like, now she's so defensive where she's ready to abuse people. She's ready to harm people for her pleasure, her enjoyment. That's not okay. That's not acceptable out here. That is a mental illness right there on general. And I haven't even looked it up. And narcissistic behaviors and what they do 
She thinks there's nothing wrong with her behavior. She thinks that it's okay to lie to police officers or anybody of the law. She thinks it's okay to mislead, guide, to not fully say what's going on. She's not saying what she's done in her part. So her defense, her defense mechanisms all the way up there in anxiety, ready to hurt people. She gets excitement out of this. And that's what I mean by her getting in that defense, def, um, defense mechanism. She wants to go out there and hurt and threaten people. And she thinks what she's doing is nothing wrong. She thinks it's okay to do. Truthfully, out here with common sense of the human mind, of the human brain, of the emotion, understanding a human psychology mind, that no, it's not. This woman enjoyed every torment. This person enjoys hurting people and gets a kick out of it. That is a problem. That is a psychopath. Not realizing, I talked about her personality. One of them out there, about how she thinks, how the way she functions. She likes to play this triangulation, and that's exactly what she's doing. Pretty much, she's doing a triangulation, meaning like it's her, someone else. They play the second person to hurt the third person. It's a triangulation thing. Where she likes to conquer and divide. She's not dividing. Like she's not really conquering nobody. She has no control here. And she's realizing that. When a narcissistic abuser. A flying monkey. Realizes they're losing control. They lose their minds. They literally go berserk. When you rip the mask off. When you understand their personality. And that's perfectly understanding you know that's really strange that i can understand a person's personality how the way they think their dark attentions why they do it and understanding the mindset behind of a psychopath um however they put it out there there's so many different ways you could put it psychotic person Crazy person, psychotic person, psychopath, uh, psychopathy, whatever you want to call it. There's so many different names for it. That's exactly what she's pulling and showing right now. I'm exactly explaining her personality. That's what she does. She wants to go out there and threaten innocent people because she feels threatened. It's her actions. And it's resurfacing. So that's why she goes out here and threatens people and constantly messes with people. Not understanding people are going to catch on to her personality and it's not very pleasant. It's not a normal behavior of what she constantly does for years. And actually when I was just doing that narcissistic video at the time was because I was trying to understand her personality. A professional master understanding a professional, a master manipulator, and then it turned into that to a second video of a malignant narcissistic, which is very worse on top of it, which is it's the exact same thing, but just in a different term. And a malignant narcissistic will kill, hurt, harm a person, threaten people for no reason, just, just for the fun of it, for the thrill of it. And then that's when the failure of the mind of thinking of misleading and guiding is that she manipulated the court system. She likes to play the police, which you better be careful about that out here, because cops don't like being made fun of or mocked out here by a psychopath, by a narcissistic person. You better be careful about that when you're playing with cops out here or the court system or the judges. You better be careful about that because once they find out 
that you're playing them and getting them to hurt innocent people, you better be careful because that will also come back on you too. In the court system, the judges, anybody of the higher authority, they will take you and look at you and go, huh, we know what you're doing, lock you up. So, hmm, even even the law system's going to think, hmm, so you think it's cool to play on us, to manipulate, mislead, not tell the truth, to get someone hurt? They can easily get you locked up and not care about you. Because that's what you do. You hurt innocent people out here who don't deserve it. Everything you do, you attack people. And then you want to pull that the victim card, knowing you manipulate the court system, you manipulate the police too much out here. That's where I'm getting at. You better be careful who you play with out here. Because once they find out how you mock them or how you make fun of them or you think you got away with some, I promise you, you're not. And I know for a damn fact, when it comes to the police... You don't ever try to mock them or try to manipulate them. You don't ever manipulate the court system. That is very stupid to do. And that's what a narcissist will do. That's her mindset. And that's also a malignant narcissist. And then that's where the misguiding and the triangulation is to try to get people locked up for her fucked up shit. Her actions of what she does. So she tries to pull this gaslighting, reverse psychology, where she likes to try to get others in trouble for her doing. I've already read about her personality. I already talked about her personal personality three different times out here. And I may have to post that up so people can understand her personality of how I'm trying to explain it because sometimes it's not easy to talk about, but I may have to post that up. Or I may just have to share it so people can understand where her mindset's at, how she thinks, why she does it. There's no thinking of the brain. This person has no middle ground, does not communicate properly, always thinks all or nothing that she don't care what she does. She don't care if she destroys people out here. Well, you better understand the law, if they understand what you're doing, they're not going to care if they destroy your life because how you mess with mine. You got to you gotta be careful what you're playing with out here because there are certain earth angels on this earth that's ready to get most of these people who have been coming at me. And that's what I'm thinking right there. If her conscience is eating at her, she knows everything she's done is catching up to her. She knows it. She knows it's time to pay the piper. She knows it's time's up. She knows karma, ding, 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 eventually. She's not dumb. But she knows what she's doing is wrong to others. So I said, if she does try to harass you or anybody out there, you make a police report about it. I'm not kidding you. She will constantly do stupid things of her actions. She threatens people who are innocent, who don't deserve it, which I've already proven and backing that up. And then people are going to be wondering, what do you mean about her personality? I've already made her mad because she's already seen it. I've already known her personality, how the way she thinks, how the way she functions, her darkness, why she lies, why she's a narcissistic, why she's a dysfunctional person. She really got mad about that. You think I care? No, because that's what she's showing. She likes to hurt people for enjoyment. She likes to destroy people, but she's going to get destroyed by God and my ancestors. She's not liking that. That God and my ancestors are interfering right now. And knows their attentions were not very kind. And I will stand, I will, I will step on people's toes to protect the innocents. I'm always like that. And then some people get mad at me when I do that because I step on people's toes. And then they get mad. You know what? You know what I say? 
if I step on people's toes to protect the innocent, then that says a lot right there. That I do protect certain people out here, and then some people don't like it when I do speak my mind, but I really don't care. Because some people do deserve to know what to look out for and have a heads up for and why are people acting up out here is because they cheerfully got a problem with me. And it's not towards any of you innocent people out there. They're just mad at me and they just want somebody and people to take it out on. And I think it's very cowardly at the end of the day. Just thought I'd make that clear. But just like I said, all the evidence that I have is pretty much freaking these people out. You're done hurting innocent people. And you don't need to be bringing innocent people. You don't need to be threatening people who don't deserve it. You got an issue with me. So deal with it. And I want people to know this. So in case if they start acting up, others are aware. Don't take it personally. It's because these people are mad at me. That's when I said if they do try to act up on you or threaten you, I do want you to report it. Because they're just acting up. They're acting out because they're afraid. They're in fear of their own actions. It's what it is. Now, their mind is playing games and tricks on them. Like I said, for straight 30 years, this was going to come out regardless. All these people, now it's messing with their heads. It's messing with their mind. It's playing tricks on them. Now, their mind's being all played with. Now, they're being whatever you call it. Now, they're feeling a certain way. They're freaking out. They don't know what to do. It's because of their own actions. That's why I said... It's karma. You got to be careful how you treat people. And these people have really, really bad karma. Worse than karma. Upon their heads. And it's showing right now. But I think I'm going to go and get off of here. And I'm going to share this to my YouTube too. So others are aware that of this. So people don't take it personally, but I understand what these people are doing at the end of the day. And then they get mad at me because I can understand the human psychology, the human mind of the brain, what they're doing. It's just common sense. When you really take the time to look at how people treat you, and then you can fully understand their darkness their screwed up attentions, why they do it, what for, the projection, the gaslighting, you know how to rip the mask off. That's when these people lose their minds. And the plus when they see that you have proof and evidence, that even freaks them out even more. Because they know what they're doing. They know they're going to end up in trouble, legal trouble eventually. That's why they're flipping out like that. Their mind, their conscience, <laughs> they know their their conscience is eating at them. That they know they've done me wrong. They should have never done it at the end of the day. But I'm going to go and get off of here. I'm going to put this on YouTube real quick. I hope you guys have a lovely day.